Welcome to CLC Guru. In this session, we will discuss example 3 to implement job sequencing problem with deadline. So, job sequencing problem is nothing but given n jobs, we need to consider each job. If the particular job is to be completed within their deadline and that earns the maximum profit in the sense, we can add to the job subset to assign to the computer for execution. So, this is the definition for job sequencing problem. Already we have discussed the steps to implement job sequencing problem and greedy algorithm. So that link I will provide in the description for your reference. So now we will consider this third example. What is the solution generated by job sequencing problem with deadline when n is equal to 7? So here they have given 7 jobs and its corresponding profit and deadline are given. So now we will solve this problem. So this is the given values for 7 jobs, its corresponding profit and deadline. So the first two step is nothing but we need to consider the job which earns the maximum profit first. And that job we need to give first preference. Next to consider the next job which earns the next maximum profit. And that job we need to give the next preference. Likewise we need to order the jobs in decreasing order of profit. So step number one, arrange the jobs in decreasing order of profits. So the first job is nothing but the job which earns the maximum profit. So the seventh job now we have given first preference. And the next job is job number three. That we have given next preference which earns the next maximum profit. Next job number four with profit 18. Next job number 6 with profit 6 and next job number 2 profit 5. Next job number 1 with profit 3 and at last job number 5 with profit 1. So now if you are considering we have arranged the jobs in order which earns the maximum profit. In the next step we need to consider each job. And if it should be completed within their deadline means, consider the job and add to the job subset. So that we can assign to the computer for execution. So next step, consider the first job. Its deadline is 2. So obviously first job we can consider and assign to the computer for execution. So step 2, select job number 1. Its profit is 30 and deadline is 2. So the first job we can select and assign to the computer for execution and its deadline is 2. So in the job set if we are considering we can add this first job and profit if we are considering 30. Next step consider the second job and its deadline is 4. The first job we can assign to the computer for second unit of time only. And the second job is fourth unit of time only. So that we can consider this job also. So select job 2. Its profit is 20 and deadline is 4. So first job we can consider since its deadline is 2. And the second job also we can consider since its deadline is 4. So job number 2 we can consider its deadline is 4. Now add this job to the job subset in order. So profit if you are considering the first job profit is 30 and second job profit is 20. So totally it is 50. Next step consider the third job. Its deadline is 3. So second unit of time only first job we will assign. And fourth unit of time only, second job we will assign. So third unit of time, it is free only. So we can consider this job and assign to the job subset. Next, select job number 3. Its profit is 18 and its deadline is 3. So in the second unit of time, we are going to assign job number 1. And third unit of time, we are going to assign job number 3. And fourth unit of time, we are going to assign job number Two. So this is the order we are going to assign the jobs to the computer for execution so that these jobs can able to complete within the deadline. So job order if you are considering job number 1 first, job number 3 next and job number 2 next. 
So profit we are considering the first job profit is 30 and the third job profit is 18 and second job profit is 20. So the total profit is 68. So next step consider job number 4 and its deadline is 1. And if you are considering the computer timeline, in the second unit of time, we will assign job number 1 for execution. Third unit of time, we will assign job number 3. Fourth unit of time, we will assign job number 4. And first unit of time, it is free only. So that we can consider job number 4 and assign to the computer for execution for first unit of time. So next step, consider job number 4. So select job number 4. And its profit is 6, deadline is 1. So since the job number 4, its deadline is 1, we need to give this job first preference. So consider job number 4 and assign to the computer for execution in the first unit of time itself. And the next job, second unit of time, job number 1. Third unit of time, job number 3. And fourth unit of time, job number 2. So, if you are considering here, we can add this job to the job subset. That is, the order is 4, 1, 3, 2. And its profit, if you are considering, the fourth job profit is 6. And first job, 30. Then, third job, it is 18. And second job, it is 20. So, the total profit we have earned is 74. Now consider the next job, job number 5. Its deadline is 3. So already in the third unit of time, we have assigned job number 3. So its deadline is already over. So we cannot be able to consider this job. Next if you are considering job number 6, its deadline is also already over. That is 1. So we need to neglect this job. And if you are considering job number 7, its deadline is 2, already it is over, so we cannot be able to consider. So the rest of the jobs we have to discard because its deadlines are already over. So the result if you are considering, the optimal solution for job sequences, job number 4 first, job number 1 next, job number 3 next and job number 2 at last. So these four jobs only we can able to assign to the computer for execution since these four jobs we can able to complete within the deadline and the total profit we have earned here is 74. So this is the solution for this given job sequencing problem. Thank you for watching this video.